I think this is hugely impactful. From the moment he put on the headgear, electrophysiologist George Crossley could see the possibilities. It took about 10 seconds of having this tool on my head to be able to show me the power of having a physician see what's happening inside the heart. Dr. Crossley is practicing implants of Micra, the world's smallest pacemaker, yeah, using an experimental 3D simulator that incorporates extended reality to navigate inside a virtual beating heart. Oh, heaven, yes. The simulation is so realistic, Crossley is convinced it could revolutionize the training of cardiologists. It lets us get that trainee to a much higher level using a simulator than we could have ever done in a hundred cases with a live patient. This simulator is just one of 80 extended reality, or XR, projects currently underway at Medtronic. XR refers to a combination of virtual reality, or VR, which is a completely computer-generated experience, and augmented reality, or AR, which overlays virtual elements over a real environment. At Medtronic Diabetes, it's Rebecca Gottlieb's job to think about what diabetes therapy might look like years down the road. For me, the future isn't scary. It's really exciting. Let's meet David. Gottlieb's teams already use holograms to help educate patients about diabetes therapy. And they're developing XR programs to help train on the best way to insert glucose sensors. Place the base of the surter. But they're exploring even bigger ideas. Let's say you walk into a restaurant, you look at the menu. With smart glasses, those um, glasses can read the menu and maybe we highlight for you what the best choice is based on your current glucose reading. People with diabetes often need to be expert carb counters, but someday a smart device might count the carbs on their plate and predict how their bodies will respond. If you have diabetes, this is a disease of data. All of those calculations have to spin around in their heads all day. So what we're hoping to do is give them that, that brain space back so that they can go on with their lives. Take control. Researchers are experimenting with XR technology in every division of Medtronic. Start calibration. Jay Reed is a director of heart procedure training. He sees similarities between this research and space exploration of the 1960s and 70s. In our world, in the medical device world, we are on that leading edge exploring uh, space, uh, virtual space, digital space, that we thought about, dreamed about, but now it's coming to fruition. It's really today. It's what's happening now. We've got uh, over 80 projects that we're working on within Medtronic that allow us to put our hands around what this space can become. So I'm really excited about the future of where we're going, uh, what we can expect to see in, in the next five years. Wherever the technology leads, doctors like George Crossley are excited about the possibilities of turning extended reality into an actual reality that improves the lives of their patients. If I close my eyes and think about what the future could look like, that's a very nice picture.